Hey guys, I'm back with another fitness video. So yesterday I talked about uh, gear, gear, you know, my best or rather worst cutting cycle. So today I want to talk about uh, the bulking cycle. This bulking cycle is usually for people who are ectomorphs, guys who actually have tough time packing on muscles. So what they do is they take solus, they take help of these external drugs which can help them pack on muscle. But guys, as I always say, there's a price you gotta pay and trust me this price can be really 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 hefty for a simple fact that you know you're playing with your health guys so this video is again for information purposes only i'm sharing my experience with you you know when i tried a bulking cycle and which kind of uh, uh, bloated me up uh, because i'm an endomorph and you know usually if you don't take precautions it can actually go the other way so let's go right at it so what did i do for my bulking cycle you know there were these people you know who were telling me these so-called trainers guys i have nothing against trainers you know usually people say hey why do you keep talking about trainers? i have nothing against trainers guys it's just that you know some of the information that they share is obviously you know is uh, is not accurate and they just do the trial and error part of it and sometimes they make you a laboratory wherein they do these tests and stuff which apparently didn't go down too well with me so this this guy uh, 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 gave me a cycle which consisted of uh, the bowl uh, and test and guys you know uh, remember i've shared this with you uh, i've had uh, uh, issues with my chest fat and you know my chest fat was so bad that somebody actually told me if i were to take test which is testosterone uh, externally uh, it will help you mitigate it will help you minimize it but guys this was actually a wrong theory it actually makes things worse so any one of you who's having chest fat and who's looking at thinking of taking testosterone because what is just uh, what is a uh, chest fat chest fat is nothing but accumulation of more estrogen which is female characteristics in your body and you feel that you know if you were to inject testosterone into your body you will you know minimize those uh, estrogen levels and you know you'll start looking more your chest fat will kind of minimize by itself it doesn't it doesn't happen like that it only makes it worse so i'll tell you how what happened and how it happened with me so I took a Dibol cycle and I took Dibol and uh, uh, testosterone. So Dibol back then costed about 10 rupees a tab. I think now it costs you about 7 rupees. But guys, here's a lesson to all of you. Do not buy Dibols, you know, if any of the gym owners try to give you because I've seen this trend in many of the gyms in the country, local gyms where, you know, you guys, they start gymming and the local owners start giving you Dibol tabs for 5 rupees, 10 rupees, 15 rupees, thinking that, hey, you know, you will bulk up and stuff. You will bulk up, but most of it will be water. The moment you're off Dibol, boom, the uh, water will be gone and you'll be left with the same place where you were earlier. So with me, when I took the bowl, obviously, you know, I could see the difference in my strength. You know, my strength went up the roof. But what I started beginning to feel that my back started causing problems. Then I read up on the internet. I was like, and I figured out that what the uh, bowl does is that, you know, if you don't hydrate yourself, if you don't drink too much of water, uh, it kind of uh, makes your joint very vulnerable to injuries so this is exactly what was happening with me and my lower back was giving problems i couldn't do squats i couldn't do back exercises it'll get really stiff uh, for a few days i started thinking that hey i may have developed a back problem but when i discontinued it after about two three days the problems got solved so i realized that hey the board didn't work for me to the other side effect that i got from the board was uh, i was very aggressive and I, I would just you know just flip out like that but again this is roid rage but uh, uh, again remember these are all androgenic steroids which means you know they would really if you have uh, uh, a bald or rather a, a bald dad or you have this uh, boneless running in your family you want to stay away from these androgenic drugs because it will only foster the process speed up the process and really affect your hair actually my hair did thin out because of these things you know i have no qualms admitting it that's why i always tell you stay free in a way now comes the second one which was testosterone and in testosterone i tried different blends of it i, I tried testosterone propionate i tried sipionate i tried uh, uh, enanthate plus sustenone and I mean, they're all, they're all testosterone, but obviously the half-life is different. You know, the absorption is very different. But, you know, people say testosterone helps you lose weight, but it doesn't happen like that. Guys, if you don't know jack shit about it, don't even think about taking it. Uh, what happened with me was that I stacked the two together and uh, that stacking didn't go down too well because if you're not training hard enough and if you're not eating enough, 
chances of you not utilizing the drugs obviously are higher and uh, when when you're not utilizing the drug it is remaining into your system and obviously you're bound to get sides you're bound to get some side effects and that is exactly what i was getting so with testosterone you know i my chest fat got a little weirder since somebody told me hey with whenever you take testosterone you should take nolvadex or you should take like a tamoxifen and stuff like that so i added that and after that obviously you know the guys there was no guidance you know that's the reason i do this what i do so when i added it obviously it helped a bit but the problem remained and uh, again with testosterone uh, i realized that you know i was again getting very hot tempered and i was getting uh, jitters i was i wasn't you know there are certain drugs which don't go down well with your system though testosterone is considered to be the grand daddy of all drugs you know it is the base stack for every drug you want to use but my experience with this bulking and wasn't too well plus then i also added something called boldinol or boldy which you want to call it that one obviously you know again you know it was still mild but again it was fake so i can't say what's a real boldy is like but again these drugs will give you water if you want to get clean bulk there is no such thing as clean bulk you will whenever you do bulking you will get a uh, water weight with it but with drugs like dibold testa equipose or or boldy the water retention will even be higher you may have a moon face or you may develop water retention everywhere if you cool with that look go for it but remember these drugs really screw you up you know like if if these drugs are harsh if if cutting drugs like stanozolol and avar are harsh on your liver androgenic drugs are very harsh on your heart because you know they really make your heart work an extra harder and that is the problem guys so you know a bulking drug can be devastating for your heart and a cutting drug can be devastating for your liver <coughs> excuse me so you decide uh, which one is stronger and which you want to screw up guys I always tell you, and I will still tell you, steroid is not the way to go. You know, you don't want that. If you really want to bulk up, what you really want to do is, you know, you want to add up more food into your diet. Do it slowly, and add uh, like a, you know, more carb meals if you're an ectomorph, or or you know, if you're an endomorph like me, add pre and post carb meals and see how your body is responding. But remember, if you want to add these drugs into your system. No doubt you'll get results, but those results will be very short-lived. And the moment you're off drugs, a you have to deal with the side effects. Two, you lose all the gains, and three, you'll feel terrible because you're not going to be growing at the same pace while you were growing when you were on that drug. So you want to be in that position, you know, of weighing the pros and cons. And trust me, the cons weigh a lot higher than the pros, guys. So I hope. this message gets into your head loud and clear and i hope you stay away from these drugs guys this is an information video and i wanted to share my experience with you any one of you have any questions around this feel free to reach out to me so again youtube facebook or on my discussion forum on tarunkilfitness.com/discussion and i'll be very happy to help you with your bulking gains so till we meet again peace